Hey sugar monkeys! Today's video is about menstruation and what I catch my menstruation in monthly. It used to be tampons. I used to use tampons and pads, the classic, the standard way. And it's because I didn't know any better. You know, I didn't know that there was an alternative. But I'm here to tell you that there is an alternative and it is amazing. And I know you're not going to go back to using toxic tampons and pads because the Keeper and the Moon Cup, which I'm about to show you, is really, it's a life-changing little instrument. And honestly, I think this is one of my most important videos because there are so many women out there who are unaware that there is any alternative. We have the Keeper and we have the Moon Cup. And what's the main difference, you're probably wondering? Well, there isn't much difference except this one's made of silicon and this one's made of rubber. This is biodegradable, this one's not. And most women get this one opposed to this one if they have an allergy. To rubber. Some women have an allergy to rubber, so they need to get this one. Other than that, there isn't a, a lot of difference. But I was a little bit unhappy about the shortness of this stick. I can't remember whether I cut it or not. I really don't think I did, but maybe I did. It just doesn't look like I did. Um, I, I like this long tag here. It just makes it easier to remove the keeper when you need to. But they're, they're both really great and I think you will be happy with either. This is my choice though, so I'll talk a little bit more about this. You know, it's great because you can throw this away after you're finished and it just biodegrades. So that's a real advantage and it's totally, you don't feel it at all. I don't know about you, but when I used to wear tampons, this is over five years ago now, I used to feel like it was up there. I used to feel it all day and it was just so kind of awkward putting it in as well. But this... You know, you just fold it like that, fold it like that, and push it up, and it pops open, expands, and it fills the gap. So it's, it's really, really simple to put in. You may need a little bit of practice, but trust me, it is worth it. You're going to get a lot of great use out of this. This one is actually five years old, over five years old, so it's starting to break down. And so I thought, okay, it's time for me to get another one, and I thought I'd branch out and try the Moon Cup, which has been great. Again, I don't feel it at all when it's in, which is a really big thing. I actually left it in for longer than I was meant to because I forgot. I'm just like, oh, the keeper. I forgot to take the keeper out. It's really, it's easy to do that because it's so comfortable. It's amazing. And with my menstrual flow and a high carb raw vegan lifestyle, it is almost nothing. It is really light unless I start to eat high fat. Say I have a week of higher fat, like avocados and nuts, more than I usually would. Get my fat to around maybe 15% of daily calories, 15-20%. Then my flow really, really increases. And I've actually noticed that when I eat higher fat, it brings my period on quicker. So I might be eating high fat, high fat, high fat, and then all of a sudden I've got my period. I'm like, oh, okay. And that doesn't happen when I'm eating consistently 5 to 10% of my daily calories from fat. So I recommend you keep it 5 to 10% maximum. You know, don't go about 10% if you want to have a light, painless menstrual flow. This has been my experience over the last couple of years. Actually, when I first started on a high carb raw vegan lifestyle, I lost my period for about 10 months. And at the time I was like, yeah, this is amazing. I, I, I need a break from my period. I really need a break. Because it was pretty heavy. You know, it was heavy and it's painful. And sometimes I took days off work because... It was too painful and that was due to a high fat animal product rich diet which of course I no longer have and now I no longer have these heavy periods you know when the flow increases when I have higher fat plant foods it's nothing like when I was having animal foods so there's a big big difference there but I still recommend keeping those fat calories low so now my flow you know like I'll have the first day I'll use this maybe twice in the day and it doesn't even fill all the way up you know, I just take it out and, you know, I can put it on the garden if the neighbors aren't around. I'll just, like, chuck it on the garden. And it's cool, you know, it nourishes the plants, nourishes the grass. And it's a nice little system. Instead of taking the tampon out and, you know, throwing it in the bin, it going into some landfill somewhere, into the ocean, it's pretty gross. It really is, you know, and just taking forever to break down. You don't want to be a part of that. Don't be a part of that system when you don't have to be. Trust me, this is the answer. And I'm not selling them already. I'm not getting any kickbacks, anything like that. I'm just excited about these because I know women everywhere didn't realize there was an alternative to the awful tampon. God, hands up who wants to get the tampon out of their life. And it's gone over five years. This is over five years old and I would not go back. Whoops. 
Yeah, so when it first comes to you, generally it's going to have a longer tab here and you have to cut it in order, you know, cut it to the length that you want. You know, because if you leave it too long, it might sort of be a bit sticking out down there and a bit irritating. So just play around with it for a bit. Don't do it too short, okay? Don't just get hasty and go, oh, get rid of that big plastic tab and cut it really short because that will come back and bite you. You might actually have to get another one because to reach up, you know, you want to be able to grab onto something. You don't want to make it too hard on yourself. So leave a bit of a tab like my keeper. Where is my keeper? Okay, so that's the keeper and the moon cup. They're about, I think it's about $60 or $50 for each of them. It depends on where you get them from. But I've saved over $500 over the last five years on tampons and pads. $500, bucks. That's, not too, that's not too shabby. And it's just win-win on every level. Winfinity, as Doug Graham says. So I recommend you join the Menstrual Cup Club and grab one as soon as you can because they're, they're absolutely great. Alright, I'll see you next video. Post any comments you have down below in the comment section. And thank you for liking, sharing, favoriting and subscribing to this video. Do that if you want to see more of these so then I'll know what you like. Alright, I'll see you next video. P.S. I'm actually working on the idea of starting to do workout videos. Taking you through a workout, you know, you can work out with me twice a week, a couple of minutes, you know, maybe five to ten minutes twice a week. And yeah, that's what I'm working on now. So I'll keep you posted on that. See you later.